Hey, hello and welcome to the last ever Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. Fuck me, it's a bit sad but I'm saying goodbye. Um, sorry for the lack of face cam but as you may remember, the last time I released a video many 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 months ago, the GoPro is currently dead and I'm not planning on replacing it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last ever Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. It's fucking, I'm tearing up just thinking about it because I'm going to sell my bike. Um, it's going to ring back today and confirm that I'll accept the offer and then um, later on this week she'll be gone. Oh, it's very sad. Oh, Jesus. Come on, men don't cry. Suck it up, Dan. So, the reason for selling the bike. I just don't ride her anymore. This is the first time I've been on it in about six weeks, at least. Um, maybe two months. I think last time I rode it was its MOT back in May. Uh, I just I just don't get out on it and I, you know I'm paying for it 250 quid a month for a bike that sits in the garage even during summer it's just I just can't justify it really I just can't justify it it's just a waste of money so I know you're thinking well just ride more Dan get out make more videos we love your videos we miss you come back <laughs> but I don't know I think I've just changed um, my life is just now different. So when I started this channel, as you know, I work for the NHS, uh, which is the you know National Health Service for you Americans. Paid for, you know, healthcare paid by the government. So the wages are pretty shit, um, and the work's pretty hard. It's just a fucking, you know, it's just a shit fest. So, you know, while I was a BMS, I used to kid myself that one day I'll be big and famous on YouTube. You know, started making my videos, and I always thought you know the videos were my passion this guy really wants to let me pass doesn't he I think he just wants my exhaust but um oh, that gap's a bit smaller than I'd like it's a bit tight it's a bit tight um yeah so I had my shitty job that I didn't really like that didn't pay much money so I had this channel and it was kind of it what kept my mind busy it's what you know Every day I'd get up, get on the bike, put a big smile on my face, you know, make the fact that I'm riding to a shithole that a little bit more bearable because I'm doing it on a bike. And then, yeah, I used to kid myself that one day I'd get big and famous on YouTube and then the money that would bring in would kind of compensate for my fucking shit wages. Um, and while I was on the bike, you know, you riders will understand this, it's just the way it makes you feel. <coughs> You're sat on a speed triple, dressed like a fucking ninja, and you feel like a motherfucking badass. You just do. You just feel like a million dollars, even though you've only spent eight grand. You just feel like a fucking god. Oh, and it is. It's such a good feeling when you when you're fucking sitting on one of these things and you twist that wrist. Oh, it's just jizzy. It just makes you feel good. But, as I'm sure many of you know, my life's changed quite a bit since shitty NHS wages. Ah, oh, gotta enjoy it, it's the last time I'm gonna ride her. Ignore the wind. Yeah, I now don't need this <coughs> to make myself feel good. I don't need to be big and successful on YouTube. You know, my new career. For one, I don't have any fucking time to make any videos. Jesus Christ, I work a lot nowadays. Um, some days more than others. You know, I am riding around on a Monday at half past ten. Not exactly doing much work at the moment. But I'll do some later. Honest, boss, if you're watching. But, um, you know, this job has its perks. It has its long days. It has it when you're away from home for a whole week. But I just have my satisfaction in my job, you know. I'm happy with my career. I get paid fuck loads of money compared to the NHS. I've got a fucking Jag! I've got a Jag! We'll have a little Jag walk around at the end of the video for those that are interested. But I have a fucking Jaguar. So I don't need an eight grand bike sat on my driveway every morning for me to walk out and go, oh, she's pretty. Because I did it every day with a fucking Jag! Wow, my visor is dirty. So yeah, you know, I just... You know, this still it's still good. Don't get me wrong, bikes are fucking amazing. I just don't need it. 
and therefore if I can go without it I'd rather have the money so I'm going to go without it I'm going to be a dude in a car so yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of what's going on I'm afraid you know I'm not going to drop off the face of the earth I'll still reply to comments on videos because people come across my test ride videos still still watch them still whinge that I'm shit at reviewing bikes when it clearly just says test ride not like in-depth fucking long-term review by a fucking journalist it's just some knob stole a bike from Laguna and it's just going for a bit of a dick around it's not Jesus Christ people what do you want from me all right this is my first time going around a corner for six weeks so tires are slightly cold so we're gonna go slow plus I'm still recording and I need to be able to talk and you be able to hear me and yes I still just ride around the same corners like a loser because they're my corners get used to it anyway as always I'm just talking about nothing for no reason so I might as well shut the fuck up I am gonna miss these exhausts As promised, quick walk around the Jag. And it is going to be quick because I'm stood here wearing my helmet in t-shirt and jeans and I look like a right weirdo. So here she is, as you can see, absolutely filthy. I've only had it a month. It's already been washed once, but I do, you know, 800 to 1,000 miles a week. So it gets dirty pretty quick. But there she is, Jaguar XE R Sport in white. Black and white leather seats. Oh, hello reflection. Filthy again on the inside. Utter filth, little monkey. Last time you'll see him. But yeah, black and white leather. Looks rather nice. Head back the ceiling. Smooth as fuck, Dan. Smooth as fuck. But yeah, I thought about maybe doing some car vlogs, but nah, can't be asked. Ain't got time for that shit, mate. So yeah, it's been a good laugh. Thank you to the ones that have been there since the start. Met a few people for this. Bearded Biker, his girlfriend, Nilo Angelo, Vito and Vlogster, whatever you're called, Phil 480, Spicy. Yeah, met some nice people. It was a good laugh. And any bikers out there thinking, fuck it, I might stick a camera on my head, just do it, just go for it. It's a good laugh. You, get, you know, you never know what might happen. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll wait and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,